Hello everyone. Today we are going to see a problem based on plastic analysis. We are going to find the collapse load of this frame. Let us see the frame on time. In this frame, we have the columns A, B and C, D and the beam B, C. In the column A, B, we have a point load W upon 2 acting in the center. In the beam BC, we have a point load W. It is also acting in the center. The height of the columns is L. Length of the beam is also L. We have different plastic movement capacities. For the columns, it is 2 MP and for the beam it is mp in this frame in the column ab we have a point load so there will be column mechanism in the beam bc also we have a point load so there will be b mechanism additionally we will have sway mechanism and combined mechanism First, let us see the column mechanism. In the point A, we have a fixed support. In the fixed support, we will have a plastic hinge. In the joint B, we will have a plastic hinge. The third plastic hinge will occur on the right of the point load. In this column, the point load acts in the center. Because of that, we will have a symmetrical triangle. Since this triangle is symmetrical, the angles in the points A and B will be same. Let us keep the angles as theta. So this angle should be theta plus theta. We will get 2 theta. Let us keep the displacement as delta. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, tan theta is equal to delta upon L upon 2. We can take L upon 2 inversely and then multiply with delta. We will get 2 delta upon L. The value of tan theta will be very small. So tan theta will be approximately equal to theta. In this case, we can take theta is equal to 2 delta upon L. From that, we will get delta which is equal to theta L upon 2. Now, let us find the internal work done. We know that for the column AB, the plastic movement capacity is 2 MB and for the beam BC, it is MB. In the point A, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply 2 MB with the angle theta. On the right of this load, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply 2 MB with the angle 2 theta. In the joint B, we have a plastic hinge. In the joints, we have to be very careful. We have to select the smaller MB. MP is smaller than 2 MP. So we have to select MP and then multiply with the angle theta. Then we have to add them. After adding, we are getting the internal work done which is equal to 7 MP theta. Now let us find the external work done. We have to multiply the load W upon 2 with the displacement delta. For delta, we can apply theta L upon 2. After multiplying these two, we are getting the external work done which is equal to WC theta L upon 4. Now let us equate the external work done and the internal work done. We can eliminate theta and take L upon 4 on the other side. 4 into 7, we will get 28. So, in the column mechanism for WC, we are getting 28 MB upon L. 
Now let us see the beam mechanism. In this mechanism, in the joints V and C, we will have plastic hinges. The third plastic hinge will occur under the point load. Let us keep the displacement as a delta. In this beam, the point load acts in the center. So the angles in the point B and C will be same. Let us keep the angles as theta. So this angle will be theta plus theta. We will get 2 theta. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, tan theta is equal to delta upon L upon 2. We can take L upon 2 inversely and then multiply with delta. We will get 2 delta upon L. We know that tan theta will be approximately equal to theta. So we can take theta is equal to 2 delta upon L. From that we will get delta which is equal to theta L upon 2. Now let us find the internal work done. We know that for the columns the plastic movement capacity is 2 MB and for the beam BC it is MB. In the joint B we have a plastic hinge. We know that in the joints we have to select the smaller MB. MB is smaller than 2 MB. So we have to select MB and then multiply with the angle theta. In the joint C we have a plastic hinge. Here also we have to select the smaller MB. MB is smaller than 2 MB. So we have to select MB and then multiply with the angle theta. Under this point load we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle 2 theta. Then we have to add this 3. After adding we are getting the internal work done which is equal to 4 MB theta. Now let us find the external work done. For that we have to multiply the load W with the displacement delta. For delta we can apply theta L upon 2. So for the external work done we have got WC into theta L upon 2. Now let us equate the external work done and the internal work done. We can eliminate theta and take L upon 2 on the other side. 2 into 4 we will get 8. So in the beam mechanism for WC we have got 8 MB upon L. Now let us do the sway mechanism. In the sway mechanism first we have to check the end supports. If the end support is fixed there will be plastic hinge. In the point A there is a fixed support. So there will be a plastic hinge. In the point D, we have a hinged support. So there will be no plastic hinge. Then we have to look at the joints. There are two joints, joint B and joint C. In these joints, there will be plastic hinges. So totally there are three plastic hinges. Let us keep the sway displacement as a delta. Let us keep the displacement on the right of the point load as a delta 1. Let us keep the angle in the point A as theta. So the angle in the point B also should be theta. In this frame both of the columns are having the same height L. So the angles in the point C and D also will be theta. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle tan theta is equal to delta upon L. 
we know that tan theta will be approximately equal to theta. In this case, we can take theta is equal to delta upon L. From that, we will get delta which is equal to L theta. Now, let us find delta 1. For the height of L, the distance is delta. So, for L, it is delta. But, we need the distance at the height of L upon 2. So, we have to multiply this with L upon 2. We can eliminate L. For delta, we can apply L theta. So, for delta 1, we are getting L theta upon 2. Let us find the internal work done. In the point A, we have a plus T hinge. We have to multiply 2MB with the angle theta. In the joint B, we have a plus T hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta. In the joint C, we have a plus T hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta. Then we have to add them. After adding, we are getting the internal work done, which is equal to 4MB theta. We know that in the joints, we have to select the smaller MB. That is why in the joint B and C, we have selected MB. Now, let us find the external work done. For that, we have to multiply the load W upon 2. With the displacement delta 1, for delta 1, we can apply L theta upon 2. After multiplying these two, we are getting the external work done, which is equal to WC L theta upon 4. Now, let us equate the external work done and the internal work done. We can eliminate theta. 4 into 4, we will get 16. So, in the survey mechanism, for WC, we have got 16 MB upon L. Now, let us do the combined mechanism. In the combined mechanism, we have to combine the beam mechanism and the survey mechanism. In the beam mechanism and in the survey mechanism, in the joint B, there is a plus T hinge. But in the combined mechanism, in the joint B, there will be no plastic hinge. We will have the plastic hinges in the fixed end A under the point load and in the point C. So there will be three plastic hinges. Let us keep the beam displacement as a delta. The sway displacement as delta 1 and the displacement on the right of the load as delta 2. Let us keep the angle in the point A as theta. In the joint B here we have 90 degree. So this angle also should be theta. In the beam BC we have a central point load. So if this angle is theta this angle also should be theta. Then this angle will be theta plus theta. We will get 2 theta. In this frame, both of the columns are having the same height L. So if this angle is theta, this angle and this angle should be theta. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, theta is equal to delta upon L upon 2. We can take L upon 2 inversely and then multiply with delta. So for theta, we will get 2 delta upon L. From that, we will get delta which is equal to theta L upon 2. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, theta is equal to delta 1 upon L. From that, we will get delta 1, which is equal to L theta. Now, let us find delta 2. For the height of L, the distance is delta 1. So, for L, it is delta 1. 
but we need the distance at the height of L upon 2. So we have to multiply this with L upon 2. We can eliminate L. For delta 1, we can apply L theta. Finally, for delta 2, we have got theta L upon 2. Now, let us find the internal work done. In the point A, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply 2MB with the angle theta. Under this load, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle 2 theta. In the joint C, we have a plastic hinge. We have to add these two angles. So, theta plus theta and then multiply with the MB. Then, we have to add all of them. After adding, we are getting the internal work done, which is equal to 6 MB theta. Now, let us find the external work done. First, we have to multiply the load W upon 2 with the displacement delta 2 and then we have to multiply the load W with the displacement delta. Then we have to add both of them. For delta 2 and delta, we can apply theta L upon 2. After adding these two, we are getting the external work done which is equal to 0.75 WCL theta. Now let us equate the external work done and the internal work done. We can eliminate theta and take 0.75L on the other side. It will come in the denominator 6 upon 0.75 is 8. So in the combined mechanism, for the collapse load WC, we are getting 8 MB upon L. We have found the collapse load WC four times in the beam mechanism, column mechanism, sway mechanism and in the combined mechanism. We have to select the minimum value. 8 MB upon L is the minimum value. So the beam mechanism and the combined mechanism occur simultaneously. So the collapse load WC is 8 MB upon L. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.